I'm gonna mute you guys now. Um, but if you have it, it adds resistance and it's just a great thing. Yay! Hi, Julia and Julia. So if you have that, great. If not, use your brain to create that resistance in your body. Who else we got? Hi, Heather. Um, hey, Natanya. Yay! Hey, Jen. Um, hi, Grace. And that's it. We're going to do a little cardio burst. It's like 35 seconds, two moves, four times. But that's just to get us warmed up. And then they're in there sprinkled in the workout. Three sets, three moves, repeated three times. Um, that's it. Blaster music, towel and water. Got the more tanks in. If anybody ordered them, I'm getting them out to you this week. Um, have a great workout. Rebecca, high five. We're doing push-ups today, baby girl. Yes. All right, let's get going. I hope I remember how to do this. Blast your music. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Ready? Feet nice and wide. Squeeze that butt, take that big deep breath in. And exhale. Clear your mind. You're here right now, it's for you. One more. One more big one, because that feels so good. Fill those lungs up. Squeeze that booty. Engage that core. Squeeze that booty right here. Shoulder rolls back. Get any tension out. Really big, dramatic shoulder rolls. And forward. I think we're missing Allison today. Good job, forward. She's on an upstate adventure, I think, too. And now just really big arm circles forward. I want your butt squeezed. I want your core engaged. Wake it up and reverse it. Big, open, open, open. Big open right here. Open wide, long arm down to the side and then hug yourself because you love yourself. One more big hug. My hug to you. Thank you for being here. Good job. Core engaged. Pick that knee up. Let's get those hips going. Hips going. Nice, big, dramatic. You can even hold on to your core if you want. Squeeze your booty. Oh, it's like riding a bike. Ready? And now tap it. Come in from the outside. In. Reverse that motion. Beautiful. One more. Each side. Then I want a big, go up on your toes. Reach up to the sky. Tap it out each side. Reach. And then I just want you to fall over. Touch your toes if you can. If your toes are out of the question, tap your knees. Tap your shins. Hang here. Send your booty up. Big arms. Come back up. Reach up to the sky. And I just want you to jog around. Jog around. We're still warming up. Jog around. Shoulders stay away from your ears. You can jog in a circle. You can jog forward. You can jog back. You can jog fast. You can jog slow. Good. Keep going. We're going to move into one more cardio move. So jumping jack or tap it out. It's up to you. Jumping jack, landing on your toes, super strong arms, super strong core. Squeezing. Your butt, shoulders, nowhere near your ears. They really never have any reason to be near your ears. You got this. Again, you tap it out. You want low impact? You're nursing something that doesn't feel right? Please listen to your body. Jog it out. Jog it out. Jog it out. Guys, upstate New York is a thing of magical beauty. I don't know why I've been up, been to Syracuse, been to Rochester, been to Albany. I don't know what the heck. I feel like I didn't see it when I went those times. Keep going. Shoulders down. You got this. Warming that body up. We're ready to work. And last set. Jumping jacks right here. Strong core. Shoulders down your back. Move it, move it. Good job. Again, you could be tapping this out. 
like this. If you think you're not warming up yet, you can come up out of the ground, off the ground. Hit a plyo jack. Pumping that heart rate. Strong arms, strong core. Yes, those are your two cardio moves. Back to back, twice. Take a sip of water if you need it. Catch your breath. If you have weights close by, something you're putting in your hand. Could be a gallon of water, whatever. whatever. I just want you to hold it. If you have nothing, it's okay. I want your hands next to your sides. This is adding resistance, but you don't need it. Use your mind. So first move, side lunge, come up to standing, reverse lunge, switch on that reverse lunge, side lunge, reverse lunge, switch. You can step up and switch on that side lunge. Reverse lunge here, I'm gonna just stand up, switch. Oh, I wanted to reverse lunge. Good job. So keep your shoulders down your back. <laughs> Stop moving. Keep your shoulders down your back. Keep those eyes forward. When you are doing that side lunge, your navel is to spine. When you are doing that side lunge, your feet are parallel. You're almost there. We have baby breaks in this one. To move, transition smoothly into the next move. Last one. Right here. What I want now, feet hip width apart. If you hold, are holding something in your hand, it comes right in front of you. If they're dumbbells, they're right in front of your leg. If it's one thing, it's right in front of your body. Soft micro bend in the knees. When he goes back, press into the ground. It's a deadlift. We've done plenty of these. Single legged. I want that booty back. Squeeze that butt at the top. The weight is in the heel of your feet. Shoulders are down your back. Squeeze it. Both feet planted on the floor. You, my friend, are a tree. You have roots. Press it down. I want you to feel the energy from your feet. Move up your legs, activating that butt. You are hinging at the hips. Shoulders down your back. You do not have weight. You are creating the resistance in your mind. Remember how powerful your mind is. Beautiful. Good job. If you have something in your hands, you're holding it up here. If you have nothing in your hands, you're holding your hands up here. I want your feet nice and wide, toes are forward. Squat down, come up halfway, two steps. Up, squat down, come back up halfway, two walks. Back up, squat, deep squat. Up halfway, two steps. Good. You are keeping deep squat, halfway up, two steps. First time through. Next time through, these moves are like, oh yeah, I got them. Deep squat, halfway up, walk it over. Up, deep, yes, halfway, tap it, side walk. Beautiful, shoulders down your back, navel to spine. Good job, last one right here, beautiful. Take that 10 seconds. So those are our three moves. We have that side lunge, rear lunge, switch, or step through, deadlift, squat. Here we go. Side lunge, rear lunge. You can step it up and switch. If you do that, go right into your side lunge, rear lunge, up. If you are adding that plyo jump in the middle, you're gonna land in a rear lunge, then you take it to a side lunge. Keep that weight up if you have it in your hands. If you're imagining you have a weight in your hands, keep it up. Shoulders down your back. Core for stability. Butt is squeezed. Keep that chest up and proud. When you were doing that side lunge, it's your booty that goes back, not your chest that goes down. Yes. Beautiful, that's your time. If you have a weight in your hand, it gets dropped down. Feet are hip width apart, shoulder width apart. Micro bend in that knee. You are just hinging at the hip, sending that butt back. And initiate that movement, pressing into the ground, squeeze your booty at the top. 
Good job. Squeeze it. This is so good for your lower back. You have a micro bend. You're pressing into the ground. You are using the energy of the ground. Your shoulders are back and down. Navel is to spine. Eyes stay up. Up until you hinge over, then you're gazing out in front of you. Good job. Good functional mobility for your hips. A daily movement. Squeeze that booty at the top. Shoulders rolling down your back. Bend in the bar, even though our hands are down. Last one. Good. Get ready for a traveling uh, squat. Okay, so if you have something in your hands, again, it comes up to your chest. I'm gonna move over just a little bit. Hip width apart. Send that booty back. Come up halfway. One, two. Back up to the top. Deep squat. Halfway up. Two steps. We're doing the two step all the way up. Deep lunge. I mean, I'm sorry, that's a squat. Halfway up. Two side steps all the way up. Squat. I've made my squat a little narrower than what I started with. It's up to you if you want to go a little wider. Totally fine. I just want you setting that booty back. Main part, halfway up, two steps. The main part of that squat is the butt going back, weight in your heels, halfway up. Knees staying straight, not going out, not going in. Halfway, one, two. Good job. That was round two, we got one more round. First one, first exercise. Side lunge, I missed you guys. Side lunge, reverse lunge. You can jump switch or just switch. Just step it up and switch. Side lunge, reverse lunge. Good. Oh yeah, squeeze that booty. Use those stabilizing muscles. Side lunge. Yes. Good job, Yolanda. Yes, Michelle. Oh, I just saw the jump. Who was that, Julia? Good job. Keep going, you're almost there. Navel to spine, hardening your muscles all the time. If this is leg, hip dominant, but we need the core. You got this. Yes, Belle, get ready. Take a deep breath. Feet, shoulder width apart, shoulders down your back. Micro bending your legs. Just bend over at the waist. Pressing the ground to come up. Squeeze that booty. It's slow. There's nothing fast about this deadlift. I want you squeezing from your feet, activating, pushing to the ground, through your leg. Squeeze that booty so hard. Get that core involved. Send that booty back. Good. Shoulders down your back. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Beautiful. Good job, good job, good job. Yes, slow, deliberate. Bend, squeeze. If your bend is only a quarter, a little bit halfway, totally fine. You do you. There's your break. Take it. Last one in this circuit. Last one. Arms up. If you have two weights or still up right here, you can rack them on your shoulders. Big squat, halfway up. Step, step, up, down, halfway up, step, step. I want navel to spine all the way up. All the way down on that squat, halfway up, step, step, up, yes. Squat, halfway, navel to spine. Yes. Good job, up, squeeze your butt at the top. All the way down, press into the ground to get you halfway up. Shoulders down your back. Beautiful. You know what helped me with hiking? These damn squats and lunges. Those hikes were no joke. Time, circuit number one, done. Put your weight down if you have it. Good job, take a sip of water. Towel off, towel off, water. If you need it, if you need it, 
second round of cardio. Our two moves are a jump rope and a skater. And we're starting those in 10 seconds. Back to back, just move and get, keeping that heart rate up. Get ready, take a nice deep breath in. Fill your lungs up. You do you jump rope, imagine your best jump rope. I don't know, maybe you're double dutching. Let's go. Squeeze your ass. Squeeze it tight. You're on the balls of your feet, whatever you're doing. I don't want you landing flat footed. Micro bend is in that knee. If bouncing is too much for you, I want a little baby march, okay? If bouncing is too much, up and down. Take it to a march. Good job. Good job. Double under if you're feeling spicy. We are going right into a skater. Here we go. Let's go skating. It's 90, gonna be 96 degrees today up here. Why not go skating? Front and back, forward, travel with me. Get a little forward, backward motion. You are landing soft, or you're just stepping. You know your body, listen to it. Just challenge it, okay? Just challenge it. You got this. Oh, back to jump rope. Spice it up. Maybe you wanna kick. Maybe you wanna hop on one leg. Maybe you wanna switch to the other leg. Maybe double under. Maybe you're doing the side thingy. Maybe you just do whatever the hell you want. Give a little extra air. Heart rate's coming up. Good. Skate. We, you didn't know it, but we were jumping rope in our skates. So dangerous. Keep going. You got this. Yes, good job, skaters. Navel spine, shoulders down your back. Nice soft landing. You land how you start with this. Time, time. I do, because we are gonna go to the ground. Or you could be in a chair or the wall. Take a deep breath in. Towel off, drink the water if you need it. And then we're moving down. Keep your weights with you if you have them. Get first move is on your back. So I want you on your back, legs bent. Put your weight on your belly if you have it, like lower abdomen. Okay? And you're pressing up. You're doing an elevated bridge. Well, all bridges are elevated, so squeeze your touch. You have that weight on your abdomen. You have to have a strong stomach for it, okay? Squeeze that core. Squeeze that booty. The weight is in your heels, okay? Good job. Squeeze that butt. Squeeze it. Ah. Yes, good job, that's your time. Now we are rolling over. So if you're standing or using a chair, we're doing a high plank with a pull through. Ignore the pull through. I want you to high plank and reach. So find that beautiful high plank. The weight, if you have a weight, it's underneath you and you're sliding it through. Squeeze. I don't want your hips moving. I want your hands directly under your shoulders. So adjust the weight accordingly. I don't want your head dropping. I don't want your butt going up in the air. I want it squeezed and tight and tucked. I don't want your head dropping. I said that, right? Keep those hips stable, like they have headlights on them and they're facing the ground at all times. Good. Good job. So you could be doing this on the wall and you could just reach through and pretend to pull something through. 
unless you have a really cool wall apparatus that you can do this on. Good job. For this one, you're going, we're doing a Russian twist, and I just want you to have that weight in your hand. So your heels can be on the ground, or they can be up. And you are twisting side to side. If you have a weight, I don't want you going super fast. What I do want are shoulders down your back, strong core, strong legs. If you're standing, you could be in a sumo squat with a torso twist. If you're sitting, you could sit in the chair and you are going side to side. You got this, keep going. Strong legs, strong core. Shoulders down your back. Eyes and weight move together. Yes, good job. 10 seconds, going back all the way down. If you still have that weight, put it on your core. But how many times have we done this without a weight? It's the most awesome move ever. Squeeze that booty as you lift it up. Try not to let that back go all the way down to the ground. Squeeze it up. Hold that weight in place. Beautiful. I can't see faces, I just see booties and they look great. Squeeze it. Really extra squeeze on that, those big old butt cheek muscles. Make it work. Beautiful. You got this. Keep going. Squeeze everything. Shoulders are down on the ground. Eyes are just looking up at the ceiling. Good job. Yes, beautiful. We're going back to that high plank with the pull through. Again, you could be up on the wall with this. If you're up on the wall, you reach through and pretend to pull something through. Even if you're on the ground and you don't have anything, you reach under. You could even put a pillow and pull it through. You can put your towel and pull it through. Okay, checklist. Hands under your elbows, which are under your shoulders. Shoulders are down your back. What are your hips doing? They are straight, there's no hinge in them. If there's a hinge in them, I want you to go down to your knees. Headlights, hips are headlights, they're facing down the ground. Your head, neutral, don't let it drop. Press that ground away as you stabilize on one hand. Core is so engaged. Yes, good job, sit on your butt. Yes, crushing. If you have a weight, great. If you don't, grab a pillow, grab your towel. Pull that towel apart if you have it in your hands. Side to side. It's just something that adds a little extra. Like if you put that pillow in your hand, something else you have to pay attention to. Pretend it weighs 10 pounds. It's a heavy ass pillow. One of those weighted pillows. Are there even weighted pillows? Shoulders down your back. You need to, you put your heels on the ground. Good. Keep going. You are so close. Yes! Go, go, go! Go, Helen! Who is that down there? I think that's Rachel. Go, Rachel! Who else do I have? Go, Heather! Yes, Elena. Beautiful. Down on the ground. You know what? Even if you're doing that bridge, if you could put the pillow on your uh, abdomen, it's extra. It gives you something to hold on to. Squeeze that booty now. Lift it. Don't let that butt touch the ground. Shoulders can touch the ground, that's fine. Heels and your feet totally touching the ground. Your butt is not. It's a, it's a little tease, gravity's pulling it down. Stop it before it hits the ground. Squeeze. Good job. Squeeze that butt. Yes. Squeeze that booster. Guys, I don't think I talked this much all last week, the whole time. Although if you have my family, I'm sure they'd say otherwise. Squeeze it! Got this. 
really squeeze that booty. Find length and space in that, in your vertebrae as you squeeze up. Good job. We are rolling over for that high plank. So you are on a wall, you're reaching under you and pulling something for 10 through, okay? You could use a pillow here. You could use whatever you have, your water bottle that's next to you. Just make sure those hips are squeezed and down. You can come to your knees. If your booty's like creeping up in the air, I don't want it. I want you on your knees. Do a little bit of both. Press that ground away. Remember, hips are square to the ground. Feel your core working to keep your hips from moving. This is a complete core exercise. You know, we're pulling lats into this. Strong neck. Actually, it's really neutral. I don't want you to have tension in your neck. I just want you to have a nice neutral neck. Good job. Squeeze it. You have to pick. Good! Last Russian twist. Last one. Shoulders strong down your back. Pick up something, put it in your hand. Water bottle. Side to side. Follow with your eyes. So you get that full torso twist. Navel to spine. Your heels can be on the ground. I want you to feel your core working. You got this. Energy out your feet. You are stronger than you think you are. You got this, find the challenge. This move gets challenging quick. Keep going. Almost there. Yes, you are done with your weight. You are done with circuit two. We're standing back up for a cardio round. Then we only have circuit three left. I am doing arms. Anyone wants to stay for arms? Really good job on circuit two. Oh, I see sweat white. Wipe it. Margaret, I saw you wiping sweat and I have big joy in my heart. Okay, I'm gonna do the same. First one, because <laughs> I can't tell if you're sweating or not, but I saw this and then my heart burst with joy. Okay, so you can see I'm sweating. So first move is a squat jack. So we're just tapping and coming apart. You're joining me right now. I want that chest up. Yes, beautiful modification there. You can step it out to the side, step it out to the side. Just keep that chest up, booty back. Booty goes back, booty goes back. Tap that ground, navel spine. Keep that form. Yes, you do you. You wanna stand up and do step outs and jacks again, do it. Something's bothering you, modify it. We're going right into squat thrust. So, right here, hands go down to the ground, feet go back, up, up, here, feet go back. You can step those feet out, step them back up, come back. So you shoot out to a high plank and come up. Keep going. And you can come up out of that squat if you want, or you can stay low. My quads are burning. You got this. Yes, the killer Monday. Squat jack. Step it out. Or jump with me. Yes. Try and keep your chest up. Keep your eyes up. You get fancy, like put a hand up. Look at that. Oh, whose thighs are screaming? My thighs are screaming. Yes! Squat jack, squat, squat thrust. Here, feet back, feet back up, up. Find feet in it. You can set those feet out. This is too much, stand up and do a toy soldier. Just move. You got this. Yes. 
Yes. Good job. Take your 30 seconds. I love your mods. Good job. Towel off. Drink of water. We are going back down to the ground. If you're not joining us on the ground, you're going to do push ups on the wall. We're doing a downward dog push up. So come with me. Right here. Hit that down dog. Roll back and hit that push up. Go into down dog. Come back. Push up. Down dog. Find that length. Find those spaces in your vertebrae. Send those hips up to the ceiling. Find your push up form. Shoulders down your back. Elbow creases facing a little forward. Elbows bend at 45 degrees. You can be on your knees for the push up. Then you pop them up and hit that downward dog. Like this. Good. Roll your wrist because I could not think of a move for the slithery snake, but you know my sexy bear is in my heart. Okay? Get in your bear. Hands directly under your shoulders, knees come two inches off the ground, directly under your hips. Sex it up. You walk around. Keep your back flat. Sexy bear. Navel to spine. Guess what? I'm really happy that we did not see any bears. So, navel to spine, you are a tabletop on your back. Beautiful mod with a dead bug, Jen. Somebody knows. Keep going. You are under 10 seconds. Yes. Perfect sexy bear modification. Beautiful. Jen Cook, you can stay right on your back. We are going to do bicycles. Four on each side. Lower back is pressing to the mat. Hands go to the side of your head. I don't let them pull up. I want one, two, three, four, then switch. One, two, three, four, switch. So you are leading with your boobs, your chest, not your elbow. And your hands are not pulling your head up. If they are, I want them off your head. Switch, two, three, four. Good job, lower back, stay in the mat. One, two, three, four, switch. Good. Really think of it as boob to me because I don't want your elbow touching your knee if you're just bending your arm to touch your knee. So turn over. We have that downward dog to push up. Do the push ups on the wall or chair if this is not appealing to you. Hit that down dog. Come back through. Go right into that push up. Press the ground away. Make, find your rhythm. Use that rhythm to make a nice smooth movement. Keep your head neutral. Good job. Push. The ground away in that down dog as you push your hips up to the ceiling. Keep going. Squeeze that booty. Press that ground away. You got this. Yes. Core is strong, butt is squeezed. Beautiful. Give your wrist a little roll because we're going on a sexy bear walk. Jen did the dead bug as a modification. Love it. Let's go. You don't need me. <laughs> Walking around, sexy bear. Navel is fine. Keep your butt down. Good job. Beautiful. I'm going to add a lateral walk to that. So walk it over a couple to the side. You are so flat. Switch to the other side. 
Neutral spine. Walk it out. Keep that booty down. Keep that back flat. Yes. Oh my God, I love it. Keep that head neutral. Do a little side taps. What did I mean? Like lateral walks. Keep that butt down. Beautiful. Roll it over that bicycle. Lay down on your back. Press that lower back into the mat. Hands up. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, four. If you're standing, you're doing knee to elbow. Two, three, lower back in the mat. Four, one, two, three, four. Good job. Pay attention to your lower back. Don't let it come up. Two, three, four. Out. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm so happy to be with you today. Good job. Take you 10 seconds. This is the last time through. And hold on. Guess what? There's no cardio after. So this is it, guys. Last run through. Hit that beautiful down dog. Bring it through to a beautiful push-up. Hit it. Again, you could do the push-ups on a wall, on a chair, on a table. Yes, really get that benefit of that stretch of that down dog. Really keep your body flat in that push-up. Don't let your butt go in the air. It comes out of the down dog completely and locks those hips into place. Press the ground away. Strong back. Don't let your core dip. Don't let your hips go to the ground. You got this. Yeah. Press it away. Almost there. Yes. You crushed it. Get ready for your bear. If you're not bearing with me, hit that dead bug. Get it. Hit it, knees come off the ground. Walk, two, three. Slink it out, my friends. Slink it out. This is how I was gonna scare the bear if I saw one. Neutral spine, neutral spine. Don't let those knees hit the ground. If you have room enough, you can go in a circle. You can go sideways. You can go forward, backward. You do you. Yes, good job, Julia. Yes, Heather. Go, Kara. Go, Christy. You're almost there. Break. Come to your back. This time at the bicycles, I want four pulses. I don't want you to come out of that move. So hold it, stay here. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, lower back, press in the mat. No, your hands are not holding your head. They're just kind of there as an ornament. One, two, three, four. They offer no structural support whatsoever. Two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, lower back of the mat. Two, Three, four, two. Keep going, you're so close. Two. You are under 10. Finish strong. Two. Good. Yes. You're done. We're going to stretch right here on the floor, which is so beautiful. Stretch your legs down. Put your hands above your head. Make yourself a big star. You are a star right here. Long and drag your fingers out your toes. Now bring it all in and hug it in. Hug it in. Good. Bring your head back to the end of the ground. Extend one leg. Keep the other leg in close and hug it. Wrap it over. Bring that knee. Middle of your chest. Hips are square on the ground. My, hip, my legs are sweating hard. Hold on. Extend that leg. You can hold around your calves. Flex that foot, give me 
a circle with that foot. Ooh, that feels good. Nice, be kind to those joints. Good. Bring it back in. One more hug over. Bring it back above your hip. Straighten it. Other leg. Hips are into the ground. Your lower back's in the ground. Hold it. Hug it in. Bring it over a little bit. Oh, feel that. Feel that. Along the side of your hammy and your butt. Pull it over. Extend that leg. Bring it a little closer if you can. Get that posterior chain lit up. Circle your foot one way. And the other. Beautiful. One more little pull back. Extend that leg. One more hug in. Bring it over. Oh my God, that feels so good. And extend it. Arms behind your head. Again, give yourself another hug in. Good. And then roll right onto your side. Give yourself a cat cow right here. So give it head up to the ceiling, tailbone up, and then reverse it in dramatic fashion. Press the ground away, tuck that head, tuck that tailbone. One more time, really give that core a nice stretch. And other way, cat it out, tuck that chin, find that neutral spine. And I will, oh, actually, I want a child's pose. Send that booty back. Open your knee just a little bit to get that butt all the way back. Fingers are strong. Energy out your fingers. Grab, head is on the ground. Good job. Come on up to all fours. We'll just do a quick hip flexor stretch. One leg up. I want 90. 90. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Tucking your tailbone. So tuck this booty. It's such a subtle move. You should feel all the front of your thigh, especially in your hip flexor. Beautiful. Switch your legs. I love this stretch because it's like, yeah, it looks like you're just kneeling. Tuck that booty. Shoulders stay down your back. Press it forward. Good job. Put your feet together. And I want you to roll up slowly. And that's your workout. That is your Monday workout. We did it. Yay. Hold on, I'm gonna, um, you are, oh, it's so great to see you. Like, I can't even unmute. Oh, thank you guys for being with me. I need our Monday, Thanks, Monday bro. motivation picture. <laughs> we crushed the Monday! And welcome back. Thank you for being here with thank me. You. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. If you wanna do arms, I'm gonna do arms. Bye, Margaret. See you tomorrow. Bye. Um, grab to whatever you have. Grab your weights. Let's crush it. My arms are screaming for a workout. Okay. Muting you guys. Let's get it. Let's get after it. Let's do it. I'm just going to keep saying like wacky thing. Okay. First move. Let me make sure. I want your hips. Your hips are fine. I want your feet hip width apart. You can have your feet however you want. We talk about this, right? So, mine are gonna be right hip width apart. We're gonna do a bicep curl, but at the end of the bicep curl, I think I actually might kneel just to show you guys so you can see my hands. We're coming up, and then we're doing a press, but we're keeping our palms facing us. So a heavy weight is gonna be hard in this. You might wanna go a little lighter than you would normally do in a bicep curl. But I want that strong core, strong booty. You are curling and press, and down, okay? We're gonna go for 10 reps. Curl, press, shoulders stay away from your ears, especially on that funky little press up. A reverse press, three, good. Squeeze that bum, four, squeeze that core, five, six, Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Beautiful, nice compound move. Okay, next one is a frontal. So your palms are facing down, we're hitting our shoulders, and you are coming up and down. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Up, slow on the down. Three, 
four. Woo! Five, squeeze your butt. Six, good job. Good job. Last one, last one. Good job. That was a harder, okay. Now, I want your weights up. I'm gonna cover my knees just so you can see me in my frame. And skull crushers. You can keep your hands apart, pressing your elbows in. I don't want them flailing out. Four, squeeze that core. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And two more. Eleven. Oh, my neck. My elbows went out. I just saw them. Good job. Good job. Shake your arms out. I gotta get a lighter weight for those frontals, even though they're not next. But shake those arms out. Give them a second. And get ready for that curl to reverse press. I want nice rooted legs. I want your butt squeezed. And let's hit it. One. Squeeze those biceps. Squeeze your weights. Make sure you're breathing. Keep going. Squeeze your butt. Elbows stay close to your side. Last one. Yes, beautiful. I'm gonna just grab lower for the frontal. Okay. Shoulders down your back, feet hip width apart, and just up. Yes, lower, two, three. Up for one, lower, two, three. You have a micro bend in your elbows. Two, three. Your core, lower, two, three, is engaged. Up. Tempo down is three counts. Three. Try not to jerk it up nice and smooth. Up. Three. Let's do two more. One. Good. Two. I said two more, right? Good job. If you're switching weights, switch them out. We're going to do a skull crusher. Put those weights above your head. I'm gonna bring mine together this time. They can touch. It's gonna to help keep your elbows from flaring out. I don't want them flaring out. And lower. And then like you're pulling something up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Press those elbows in. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Twelve. Good job. Press those arms for a hot second. Ten. We're going into our last round. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Pick them up. So stand how you're comfortable. Kneel if you want. Do you? Elbows in tight to your chest, shoulders or your ribs, shoulders down your back, curl it, press it. Good. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Two. Three. Four. Good. Good. Ten. Give me two more. So 
So technically, right, we just did 12 reps with a weight in an exercise. If you did those 12 successfully, that means you could go up as another a pound or two in weights. And then you eventually get to eight, between eight and 12, then you go up another weight. Um, that's how it works. But we're home, so we might not have that option. So shoulders down your back, get ready for that frontal raise. Squeeze your booty, shoulders down your back, and it goes up, and then one, two, three, down. Up, one, two, three, down. Good job. Micro bend in both your knees and your elbows. One, two, three, down. Up, one, two, three, down. Make sure you're breathing. The exhale is where the effort is. Good, so pair that up with your movement. Good job, let's do three more. Good, last one. Yes, skull crushers. Grab your weights, shoulders down your back, bring those, rack your arms up, back up, and elbows come in, and you lower, press it up, pull it up. I like to pre pretend I'm pulling something over my head. Your core is engaged. Five, you're squeezing your butt cheeks. One more, one more, one more. And you are done. Roll your wrist out. Give yourself a big chest opener. And then hug, squeeze, and pull those shoulder blades apart. Give another one. I think that hug feels so damn good. Good job, just take one arm across your chest. Yes, and you deserve to be hugged. If you like it, some people don't like hugs. Kind of really love them. I always give my husband a hard time because he does this one-armed hug and I'm like, what the frick is that? Open, elbows down your back. No, elbows not down your back. Your fingertips are down your back. Other arm. And because we deserve this, we should put our shoulders down and just give yourself a slow neck roll. Slow, slow, slow. Hit the bottom and then go the other way. And you're done. Thank you.